give us opportunity to speak to this development. I bring some unique perspectives, having lived on the adjacent property for 28 years, and having made a similar request for a new driveway in the same E8 zone. My proposed works, as does Uniforce, were tree removal, excavation, and placement of new compacted fill suitable for vehicles to drive and to park on if needed. After my submitted presentation is read, I'd like to highlight the relevant sections of the provincial policy statement, the Saugeen Shores official plan, and the zoning bylaw that the Bruce County Planner relied on to recommend my application be refused. It is my contention these same sections may have relevance to the Unifor parking lot project. I'd like to state that I'm here wearing hopefully just two hats tonight. One has, well probably three since I'm a renter of the property now. But as a private citizen, Greg Schmalz, and also as the president of the Beechers Association, I received numerous uh, complaints from Beecher members, a lot of whom live on Shipley, we're proud to say, since construction first began with the destruction of approximately 20 mature white pine trees wow. on the edge of the stream. They were planted there, I might remind you, to fill in Ken Ouellette's residential house that was torn down when he left as manager of the community center. And as an aside, I find it astounding that an illegal use can be used as a reason to continue and expand an illegal use. My name is Greg Schmaltz and I currently reside at 114 Shipley as a renter having sold this property last year after living there since 1994. I'm also the president of the, of the Portland and Soggy and Beaches Association, which has over 200 <coughs> property owners, memory, many members of which are in the impacted area by this proposed development. This letter is for me personally and on behalf of the Beaches organization and its members. Last fall we observed many full-grown pine trees taken out and excavation taking place on the residential lot across the Unifor's main gate on Shipley Avenue. The lot was previously the home of Unifor Center Manager, and the house has since been demolished and the site illegally used as a parking lot for several years. In the past, member neighborhood residents and Beecher members have expressed concerns about pedestrian, cycling, and vehicle safety as cars leave this parking lot and back out onto the road into traffic. Accordingly, according to residents, several near misses have occurred on this sole entry exit way to the Goebbels neighborhood and onto the Port Elgin beach by walking or biking. When the beachers inquired with the town and SC, SVCA as to the development, it quickly became apparent that no permits had been applied for from the town or the conservation authority. This is very disturbing as this land is designated an environmental hazard and Saugeen Valley Conservation Authority has been very strict with local member residents proposing any development in E8 zones. Needless to say, any activity these days requires a minimum town approval. Unifor staff advised an expanded car parking lot complete with electric car transportation was being built. Electrical components had already been installed underground adjacent to the edge of the stream, which is flooded in this exact EH zone. I've been there in February, frozen ground, rainstorm, and that stream, which is usually three feet wide, a few inches deep, was 20 feet wide because we measured it with the tape. That vault on the side of the stream bed that was pointed out earlier is right adjacent to the stream bed. It's unconscionable how that a vault could be put at the edge of a stream. Electrical components have already been installed underground adjacent to the edge of the stream which is flooded in this area. Upon notifying SBCA, they attended at the site and put a stop work order on it. The town advised Unifor would have to make the appropriate applications for rezoning for the project, and that's why we're here tonight. <laughs> Unifor's blatant disregard for its neighbors and the rule of law proceeding halfway through this construction job without even taking out a building permit nor SVCA permit while trying to expand what already was an illegal parking lot all in the hope
hopes of rushing it to completion and then begging for forgiveness afterwards. Their behavior is especially offensive as they are aware of these permission requirements, having just obtained the same for their large parking lot addition, a sort addition a short distance away from this site. This intended duping of the authority should be grounds enough to deny this application. How many everyday residents could expect to get away with this behavior and prevail after being caught red-handed? How many residents will be allowed to change the master plan to allow them to convert their residential lot to a virtually 100% coverage parking lot complete with car charging stations? Major issues that identified to us have been walking, biking, and car safety as there are no sidewalks on this sole busy link to the neighborhood and to the existing bike walk route to Port Elegant's main beach. High volume of vehicular use as the proposed parking lot size has doubled from four to eight cars and the site offers electric car charging services, all of which were not contemplated, <coughs> excuse me, nor approved for in the originally intended residential use of this site. This is a highly congested area already with residents using this single entry exit way to the neighborhood uniform office staff and visitor vehicles entering the main gate and existing parking lot, tour buses pulling up and unloading, a uniform pedestrian crosswalk across Shipley Avenue, a neighborhood mailbox newspaper pickup site, and a cycle slash pedestrian link through onto the main beach in Port Elgin. Already Unifor has taken as a huge parking lot that has just been newly expanded with Saugeen Valley and town approval, which is much better suited to staff and visitor parking to tour bus unloading and unloading to car charging stations than this small residential lot located on a busy neighborhood artery road. This parking lot development and car charging service is not an intended nor recommended use of an EH property. Underground electrical components buried in a proven floodplain in a wooded area is a potential danger and fire hazard. Unifor has not demonstrated an absolute operational need for this parking lot and its charging stations to be located here unduly adding to risk. We are seeking permission for this development to be denied and the property remediated to its original natural state. On a positive note, we would suggest the highest and best use for this land would be for it to be donated by Unifor to the town for use as a pedestrian slash cyclist friendly mini parkette complete with drinking water fountain, bike stands, picnic tables and stream view bench seating. In this way, it would function as a rest of stop and be a contributing factor in supporting the use of Shipley Avenue as part of the new County Road 25 Master Plan <coughs> pedestrian slash cycling path system. Having done my own personal application, 